In this video we are going to show our new Smart Object Auto Align Vehicles. To use the Smart Object you can download the Max file from the video description or from our website. Then you need to merge all Smart Objects from the Max file by using File Menu, Import, Merge Command. You can also use our new Ava Studio all-in-one application. From the application setup you can check for updates. Update the application if you don't have the latest version, so that you can use Auto Align Vehicle Smart Object. Then by opening the AW Smart Objects tool you can access all our Smart Objects. For this video we are going to use the Helper Auto Align Vehicles. When you select one or more files in the first list, in the second list below you'll see all the Smart Objects from the selected files. For this demonstration we'll use all three Smart Objects. To import them into the scene, all you need to do is to press the Import Selected Objects button. Now when the objects are imported, we can select them from the dialog. And then move them in the current view with the third button of the AW Smart Objects tool. If we change the view, we can reposition the objects in front of us. You can also use this move to the current view function, with any selected object. For example if we open the tool again and select any scene object and reposition the current view. Then we can press the button to place the selection in the center of the viewport. We can do the same for the second smart object. And finally quickly position the third smart object with the same function. Now we are ready to start using these smart objects. So that we can affect any scene node you need to link the vehicles. Once this is done, each smart object will only affect the link to it vehicles. Currently all vehicles are perfectly aligned to this plane. But if the terrain needs to change, by rotating the plane in this example. Then we have to select each individual vehicle and move it up or down and rotate. To try to find the perfect position and alignment. This will take a lot of time, proportional to the number of the vehicles in the scene. With our new Smart Object, we can go to the Modify panel and in the Smart Object Properties rollout we can simply press the Auto Align Vehicles button. And with one mouse click all our trucks are perfectly aligned to the plane again. Let's do this for the other groups of vehicles. And in a few seconds all our vehicles are aligned. The smart object will work even when we have multiple objects for terrain. For example if a plane is placed here. The smart object will try to find the best position for the white car. However in some cases even when we press the button multiple times there may not be a physically possible orientation where all four tires can touch the terrain. Here you can move the car or change your terrain to make it possible to align the vehicle. By deleting this plane for now and pressing the Auto Align Vehicles button, the car will be again aligned to the terrain. The Smart Object is a simple editable spline and it can be any shape. You can modify the spline to anything you want, so that you can easily recognize and use in your scenes. The new copy is the same smart object as the others, but with a different look. Let's delete this one and see how our smart objects can handle terrain that is not a perfect plane. If we move this helper up we can see that the terrain starts to change.
Now aligning these vehicles to this terrain by hand will be extremely difficult, because you have curved surfaces in multiple dimensions. With our smart object this task will take only a few seconds. First move all vehicles up and then press the auto align button. Because the terrain has this complex shape, we can press the auto align vehicles button a couple of times just to make sure that all vehicles are perfectly aligned. With this example we can explore all available parameters for our new smart object. Here we can see that the tire is a little bit below the terrain. The reason for that is that with complex terrain like this, there is never a perfect place where vehicles can be aligned without moving individual tires. And because our vehicles are V-Ray proxies we cannot move or modify the geometry. The smart object will try to find the best compromise between tires being in the air and being below the terrain. To control this tolerance you can use the second parameter of the smart object. When this value is 0.5 then you have some of the tires slightly below and some of the tires slightly above the terrain. When the tolerance is set to 1.0, then the vehicle will be pushed down and all the tires will be on top of the terrain or slightly below the terrain. Now when the auto align button is pressed we can see the result. When the tolerance is set to 0.0, then the vehicle will be moved up so that all tires will be on top or above the terrain. If you don't render something close up, our recommendation will be to leave this value to 0.5 as you rarely will notice from a distance, if a tire is just a few units above or below the terrain. With the first parameter of the smart object you can set a fixed offset from the terrain. So with a value of 10 all affected vehicles will be 10 units above the terrain. And with a value of minus 5 our vehicles will be 5 units below the terrain. If this surface is snow and you want to push your vehicles down you can do that with this parameter. Let's reset this to zero and go to the next object's parameter. With the front offset you can set the position of the front axle of the vehicle. For example if you set this value to 50 then your front tire should be in the middle of the vehicle. And when aligning the objects we'll see that now the middle of the vehicle is aligned to terrain and not the front tires. Let's reset this to 15 and align all vehicles again. The same way you can set the back offset parameter as percentage of the length of the vehicle that defines the position of the back tires. With the last parameter we can set which local axis is the front of the vehicle. To find that for your model select the move tool and local coordinates. In this example the front is minus y axis of the local space of the model. In the smart object you can specify the front between these four values. This is a short demonstration of our new auto-align vehicle smart object. If you got so far and liked this video, please consider sharing and subscribing to our channel to be notified when we have new products or new updates for Avis Studio Tools. Thank you for watching.